Want to learn how to turn a circle into a square? And a super fast, easy way to do that. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can morph a granny square from a circle into a square to make all of those amazing granny square projects that we love to make. The materials that I'm going to be using for this demonstration is just a, a size 4 weight worsted medium Aran 1012 ply or 8 WPI sized yarn. This is Michael's Loops and Threads Impeccable yarn in the color putty. And I have a crochet hook H8 five millimeter. Over here I have a pair of embroidery scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in my ends when I'm done with this little granny square. The finished granny square will measure 6.5 inches wide by 6.5 inches long. Or if you like to work with centimeters, that's 16.5 centimeters wide, 16.5 centimeters long. The terminology, the level of this project, and the pattern can all be found in the description section and comment section below this video. Take a peek down there to find all that information. Let's go ahead and begin. So we start with a circle because we're working a circle into a square shape. There's actually three different ways that you can start a circle. You have the magic ring, you have the chain two method, and you have the chain four method that you slip stitch into the first chain to create that ring or circle. Really use whatever method works best for you. We're all gonna get in the same spot for round one. I am actually gonna go ahead and work a magic ring because I really like that tight pinch in the middle of the circle for this particular project. So I take the little tail, two fingers, wrap around my two fingers, come back and make an X shape, crochet hook underneath, grab, there we go. All right, round one, we begin by chaining three. One, two, three. That chain three actually does count as our first double crochet stitch. We will continue by making 11 double crochet stitches into that ring or circle. If, you're, if you are working the chain two method, just work the 11 double crochet stitches into that first chain from your crochet hook. One, two, 11, great. And now because I'm working the magic ring, I'm gonna take my tail and pull that tight to close up that hole in the center. Great. Now for this particular project, I'm going to be using a trick so that way my circle looks as solid and seamless as possible. This trick, I'm going to skip over the chain three find the first double crochet stitch that I made, and I will close round one by slip stitching into the top of that first double crochet stitch that I made. Yes, I know that I said the chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. We will account for that in this pattern. However, when I slip stitched into the third chain, that chain three seemed to have a little bit of an elbow and it created a gap. So by doing this, we eliminate that gap space. We will account for the stitch spaces and the number of stitches with this next round. All right, round two, chain three. One, two, three. Also counts as our first double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the same stitch space that we slip stitched into to close round one. Perfect. Right for round two, all we are doing is making an increased double crochet stitch in each stitch space around. All that means is make two double crochet stitches in each stitch space around. You should end round two with a total of 24 double crochet stitches. Make sure you count. So one, two, three, four, 22, oh, I stopped at 22. That's right, we need to add the last two double crochet stitches into that slip stitch that we made. That slip stitch is now becoming the top of that chain three that we skipped over. That's why I said make sure you count, so you stay on stitch count. So 23 and 24, great. Skip over the chain three slip stitch into the top of that next double crochet stitch. Perfect. Round three, chain three. One, two, three. Again, counts as our first double crochet. Double crochet into that same stitch space we just slip stitched into. 
there we go. Next stitch space, just one double crochet. One double crochet. There we go. The repeat pattern for round three is going to be increase double crochet, then one double crochet. Increase double crochet, one double crochet. Again, all that means is two double crochets in the stitch space, then one double crochet in a stitch space. Two double crochets, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round three. You should end round three with a total of 36 stitches. One, two, 34, 35, and 36. Slip stitch to close round three. Great. Round three was the last round for our circle. Now we're going to start working on that square shape. This is also the round if you would like to switch colors. So the circle is one color and then the outside is another, so it's two-tone. This would be great to do also. So if you wanted to change colors here, you could just cut your yarn, tie off your work, and then join color B or your second color by slip stitching into any stitch space and then chaining three. For us, the way we're going to start row four or round four is just diving right into chaining three. One, two, three. Again, counts as a double crochet. <laughs> double crochet in that same stitch space we just slip stitched into. Awesome. Chain one. Next stitch space, make two double crochet stitches. One, two. Next half double crochet in the next two stitch spaces. Half double crochet one, half double crochet two. Single crochet in the next three stitch spaces. Single crochet one, two, three. Half double crochet in the next two stitch spaces. One, two, great. Now we're ready for our next corner. Make two double crochet stitches in the next stitch space. One, two, chain one. Make two double crochet stitches in the following stitch space. One, two, and there's our next corner. All right, the repeat pattern for this particular round will be two half double crochet, three single crochet, two half double crochet, corner. And two half double, three single, two half double, corner. Just repeat that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of round four to show you what we do different for round five. Half double crochet one, half double crochet two. Just finished round four. I'm gonna go ahead and continue skipping over that chain three and slip stitch right into the top of that first double crochet stitch. Just keeping all of those gaps tight. All right, moving on to round five. We're actually gonna start by slip stitching to the first chain one space. So for me, that's one more slip stitch. That way we can still continue that seamless look of the whole granny square. Chain three. One, two, three, double crochet in that chain one space. Great, chain one. And make two more double crochet stitches in that chain one space. That is our first corner. Now for round five, we are only working double crochet stitches, aside from the chain one between the corner. But we are going to make one double crochet stitch in each stitch space all the way across. There should be 11 stitch spaces. Don't forget that first one though. It could trip some people up. Some people could actually forget this one. So make sure you count to 11 before you get to the next corner. And then in each corner or chain one space, you will make two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. All right, go ahead and continue on and I will meet you at the end of round five to show you how round six 
is just a tad bit different. 10. And you want to make sure there's 11. So even here, end on 11, it may confuse you because you see the last stitch space stops at 10. Don't skip that 11th stitch. You need it to keep everything the same. Right, closing round five. Let's move on to round six. So round six is going to be the very last round of this whole granny square. We start by slip stitching to that first chain one space. Start round six by chaining three. One, two, three. Also counting as our first double crochet. Make one more double crochet in that chain one space. Now chain two. One, two. This is going to help expand that corner and give it a little bit more space, a little bit more room. And make two more double crochet stitches in that same chain one space. One, two. And then we continue doing exactly what we did in row five or round five, where we make one double crochet stitch in each stitch space all the way across to the next chain one space. Now for round six, we will have a total of 15 stitches between corners. So you will wanna to count to 15 before making that corner stitch of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. The reason why it's 15 it was 11 in round five, but we added two double crochet stitches in this corner and two in this corner, which now makes it 15. Go ahead and continue making one double crochet stitch each stitch across. Making your corner, again, two double crochet, chain two this time, two double crochet, and I'll meet you in the last space right here, ending at round six, showing you how to tie that off and complete our project. 13, 14, and 15. Awesome, closing round six, beautiful. There we go, we're done. Now, if you wanted to keep going and you didn't want to stop here at round six, just keep repeating round six over and over until you have the size square that you desire. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut our yarn, leaving enough tail to weave in our ends. Yarn over, pull that through our loop, pull tight for a tie off. And the only thing left to do is weave in our ends and then make as many as you want to make whatever granny square project that you want to make. That's something I absolutely love about granny squares is they're so versatile and there's so much you can do with them. I hope you had a lot of fun working on this granny square with me. If you would like to check out more granny square tutorials that I've put together, definitely check out this playlist right here. So much more for you to see. Let's just keep crocheting together. I have so much fun crocheting with you. Also, swing by my website and check out my brand new membership program, The Crochet Club, and see what other tricks I have up my sleeve. So much crochet awesomeness. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye.